Today, we finally get caged up. Today's video is brought to you by CamaroCon. If you guys are interested in attending the West Coast's largest gathering of Camaros and Firebirds from all generations, hit up CamaroCon.com and learn more information about this show. What's going on guys, Matt over here, Lethal Garage, and today is the final day of the roll cage install. Now, as you can see, it's dark in here. It's, it's actually, well, it's light. Lights are on, I don't know what's going on, but the roll cage is just about complete. Interior starting to get in, that's why it looks so dark in there because all of the interior, in, the doors are closed with the tinted windows. Yeah, we'll see if we can get a little light in here. So, on this side, get some light. It's amazing how the rear seat delete kit darkens everything, but we still gotta put the matting in. The reason why it's pulled is because James was working on the final bracketry, so it's gonna mount to the back of the roll cage on the bottom bar here, and then we'll also have a bracket mounted to the, what is that? The shoulder bar, main bar, main hoop. I don't even know, terminology. But all that being stated, uh, are they over here? No, it's on the other side of the car. So the interior parts are sitting on the other side of the car. We did slide the rear seat delete kit in there. I do have an install video coming from this, but you guys can see how it's gonna look. Obviously these upper corners up here, the headliner covers, same with the backside. So it's, it's a really nice look once everything's back in. We got the headliner obviously back on the roof because there's just some final welds to be done and then the touch up on the paint and then getting the seat brackets in. So James is working on that today. So let's bring you through the rest of that and show you what this cage looks like overall. Now, he took out the swing bars too. So you can see where the cage attaches down by the foot down there and also where this bar is going. So we tried to get it over as much as we could to the left side to allow me as much foot space as possible. Now keep in mind, I got a two pedal car, so I'm not as cool as all you other kids out there, uh, but it still gives me room for my other foot and should be good to go. So everything's looking really good, it's coming together. I'm really excited with how it's all panning out. So let's, James went to go grab some breakfast and we'll do a follow up of getting the last little bits and pieces in. Let's do it. Okay, update on the final day. I'm gonna catch James in his element. Oh yeah. Don't look at oh we got interior back in here guys. Sneaking, we're just the sneaking. paint's drying, but we're getting the headliner in right now and all the rest of the trim pieces. But we took the rear seat delete kit out for the time being because I'm gonna do a separate install video on that. But you can see the cage is gonna all tuck in along the side. The headliner is gonna cover the rest of that. But man, this cage is looking sick. Heck yeah. Looking good. Up. So if you guys don't know, this is James, MFAB what Racing. Up? Is it MFAB underscore racing? Yeah, on Instagram, MFAB underscore I'll, racing. I'll put the info down in the description. You know, it's, it's if easy. you guys want quotes or information on cages, check him out. He does superb work. He spent a lot of time on mine, <laughs> making sure it was right. You can see the crossbar here. Obviously the bar is going down the back. I sliced my finger wide open. I had a Cletus moment tonight. Trying to think I was going to be special. I'll get out of James's way so he can do his stuff. But I was slicing this because I'm basically going to cut this so the rear bar, so you can see the rear bars is tucked right behind this back. They're just inset just a little bit. We couldn't get them over anymore. Um, so I'm going to cut it so you can actually see the bars a little bit. But brand new blade on this knife. I slip, slice my finger wide open like a rookie. But you know, it happens. Now we got the swing outs, chilling right here, painted, leaned up against the wall. But yeah, I'm not gonna show you much more until we get the headliner and everything else in, because I'll look better. So let's do that. The roll cage is now 99% complete. Well, the roll cage is complete, but a few other little miscellaneous odds and ends aren't. So, but as promised, I wanna walk you through, show you exactly how it looks, all said and done with most of the interior back in. Now I haven't put the rear seat delete kit back in yet because I'm gonna do a separate video for that. So I'm gonna show you exactly what the car looks like after the cage is out with the rear seats pulled, etc. 
and then a couple edits I did from James uh, that he was like, oh, I'll leave it like this. And I'm like, you know what? I'm gonna take it upon myself to uh, do it different. So let's go check it out. So at first look, you can see I still don't have my windshield back in the vehicle, but the front A-pillar bars are tucked nice and way. They do poke out right here on both sides. You can see just a little bit of the bar coming out. And the reason for that is I opted to keep the GM there's a big fat aluminum bar that runs the distance of your dashboard. Uh, now, if I would have taken that out and put a custom bar in there, we could have modified how these went through because literally, actually you can see the bar right here. So it's like right there, right where this bar would need to go down to be able to tuck underneath the trim piece 100%. I opted not to remove that. It was gonna cost a heck of a lot more money. So I left it like that. I think this looks clean and once the windshield's back in, you're, you're gonna hardly notice that little bump out. And I think he did a really good job cutting that out, trimming it in, and it, it looks super clean. Now, as far as the roll cage goes, so this is an 8.5 cert roll cage. It, people are gonna be like, well, how many points does it have that it connects to the ground? Well, technically it's two, four, six, eight. So it's got, it's an eight point, if you wanna call it that. Um, going from you know connection points to the floor. It does have the bar swing outs that swing out along with the door. I think those turned out really nice. It allows me to get right in. I pulled the seat out for the purpose of this video. I am installing a Kirky seat. James from MFAB um, custom made me a bracket that mounts to, sorry, the that mounts to the cage. So literally the seat will bolt right in there and also I'm gonna put little eyelets where that yellow tape is. That's where the lower harness for the seat belts are going to mount and then i'll put an eyelet on the front or back side of this crossbar for the crotch belt and then the shoulder straps are going to mount on the shoulder bar now you can see where the down bar is for the swing out bars really strong really nice obviously the cage in the car it's it's in there um, so main harness bar going across the hoop is hidden. So the top of the hoop does go through the, um, headliner. There is a bar running across this front line right here. That is the front bar for the a pillar, obviously, um, your B and then it's going to be hard to tell, but there's a bar that comes across down through the window, down to the back of the car. You can see it right there coming to the trunk and that's the rear bar. So it's hidden really nicely in the back of the car. There's still a few little touch up pieces here and there. You can see the plastic covering uh, for the ABS cover I need to pull off of the seat belt to put that back in. And same with the back, there's another ABS cover that needs to be filled in up in the upper corner. Uh, those are actually sitting, well, at least the smaller ones are sitting right here. I just gotta get back there and put them in. I'm gonna do that. And um, yeah, just a few tuck-ins. We left the pins off the back edge of the rear because I'm putting a rear seat delete kit in and it comes with new pins so I'm gonna be utilizing that. So you can see obviously the <clears throat> the strap bar, the down bar, and then there's a bar here that the halo is sitting on. And he had a couple phone calls with the West Coast NHRA guy to make sure that this cage is gonna pass based upon how he built it. Was going back and forth, sent photos. So overall, uh, this cage will get certed 8.5 looking good now as far as the trunk goes and this is where i made i made some lethal calls and let me see if i can adjust the camera here so these bars were originally hidden behind this cover and i still need to tuck these in and put the push clips in to hold them tight but they were behind here and james was like well if you wanted full hidden that was hidden i'm like you know what i think the rear bars will look good if I just cut down the side and let them poke out a little bit, I'm gonna clean that up down there, maybe find a way um, to make that fabric look really clean. But the reason why I did it is because these, this panel was bulging out here and I did the same thing over here and you can see because this is so close to this opening, um, this is flexing. So I'm gonna put this piece back in and then either double-sided tape or figure out how to get that to mount cleanly but it was bulging and when I cut it, it allowed everything to sit flat. So I was even, get, even able to get my weather tech back in here. I've lost almost no trunk space. So that's pretty cool. And again, passenger side, same thing. Swing out bar. It does swing with the door. So that's good to go. I have not purchased my seat for this side. 
or created the mounting bracket. I'll probably have James custom fab that next time he comes to California and just come out and add that in. It shouldn't be too much work. Uh, but outside of that, the welds, sorry, camera is not focusing. You did an amazing job welding. Everything looks super clean. Um, overall, I'm really pleased with it. Now, the biggest benefit is James does this on the road. He drives and comes out to people's houses and does the work. Now, my project took him a little longer than he anticipated. Uh, this was, I wanna say, I, I think he said this is the first time he did a hidden cage on the 6th Gen Camaro. So it kind of kicked his butt a little bit, a lot of learning for him. And overall, um, it took him a little bit longer than anticipated, at least in the, what he had planned. So that being stated, um, he came up to my house. I wasn't in a crazy rush to get it done, but he was able to come out and get it finished. Now for the most part, I need to go through and just clean everything out, clean the carpets. I might even uh, take him down and get shampooed or something like that. Just to, it's, I've never shampooed my carpets. So the car's three years old now, just about is three years old dang it's already been three years so clean everything up make it look really good i'm probably going to re-clean my steering wheel again it needs it and uh i don't know just really happy with how everything's turned out but i still need to get that clip to clip in it keeps popping out so it hates me so the biggest takeaway here is again um james with meadows fabrication he did amazing work here uh really happy with how the project turned out um cost wise if i was to have the same thing done here in california from a california shop they would charge me probably almost triple the amount james's cost is now as far as costing goes james reached out to me uh, when I was talking about just doing a, a drop-in bolt-in bar that would have only gotten the car 9.5 9 certed, which were basically there with the car, and I wanted to be able to go further, so this cage is an 8.5 cert, will allow me to push the car beyond it's ever gone before. Hopefully, um, we go below the 9.5 here at CamaroCon, that's the goal, that's the hope. Uh, but the ultimate goal with the car, I guess now, is to hit an 8.49. I'd be happy to ever hit an 8.99, and the history or the future of this car, I should say, but we'll see what happens. Um, outside of that, again, it, James is a traveling guy, so he has to set schedules and get a couple projects and then hit the road and do it. So if there's something that you're interested in doing, hit him up, check him out, talk, up, talk to him about what you plan to do with your build, what you wanna do, and uh, let him know. And he'll give you a price. Again, I think his work is top notch. Uh, my cage looks really good, as you just saw, and uh, we'll get the certification. So I'll follow up. I am going to be going up to Barona to get my 8.5 cert on the cage, and then also get my NHRA license officially, so that way at CamaroCon, I am completely buttoned up for all the modifications I have for my car. And there's a couple more things I'm going to show. It's going to be a different video um, to get NHRA qualified for what my car can do so I don't get kicked off the track, and uh, yeah. So either or, super happy with how this cage turned out. Let me know what you guys think in the comments below. I think the hidden look looks really clean. I'm pretty sure James will probably end up charging a little more money if you want to go hidden in the future uh, because of how my car kicked his butt on this project. The biggest thing was he had a couple bends he wasn't happy with. He had to wait for a new doe call to show up and that delayed quite a bit. So um, huge shout out to James again for doing it right, try not trying to make something that he didn't bend right work. Uh, he did it right, he ordered new material, got it all buttoned up, good to go. So, as always guys, thanks for checking out the video. Likes, comments, shares are appreciated. Hit that subscribe button for more content. But until next time, I'll see you on the road.